Hello my dear student. Have you ever been to a forest for a picnic? You might have been gone a park if you live in city. Or mango, guava or coconut garden if you live in a village. Now, how do you differentiate between a natural vegetation and a planted vegetation? Same variety may be found growing wild in forest under natural condition. And same variety may be planted by someone in your garden under the supervision of human beings. So this is a simple differentiation between a natural vegetation and planted vegetation. Now today our topic of discussion is natural vegetation that we found in our class 11 syllabus and chapter number is 5. My dear student, we talk about different types of forest that we found in our India. So let's start our discussion. First of all, we talk about tropical, uh, tropical evergreen forest. So here I'm going to write first one is tropical, tropical evergreen forest. Now this type of uh, forest mainly spread those areas which receive rainfall above 200 centimeter. So rainfall is, so under uh, climate we write rainfall is above 200 centimeter. And if we talk about temperature, it is above 22 degrees centigrade. So temperature is above 22 degree centigrade. Now we talk, uh, talk about species that we found in such type of forest. So mainly we found here rosewood, rosewood, then mahogany, then cedar, etc. So, such type of uh, species we found in tropical evergreen forest. Our next uh, uh, forest type that is tropical thorn forest. So, third is tropical thorn forest. So, this type of forest mainly found those areas uh, which receive uh, which receive annual rainfall less than 50 centimeter. So here we write rainfall that receive less than 50 centimeter. And a species that we found uh, in this category that is tropical uh, thorn forest, babul, bear, polash. So here we write babul then bear polash etc so this type of uh, species we found in this category then next we talk about our uh, next type is mountainous forest So here we write our next type is mountain forest. Now our mountain forest mainly divided into two ways. One was that we found uh, our uh, in northern part that is mainly Himalayan range and in southern part that covered in peninsular India. So here we divided our mountain forest into two category. So one was we can say uh, southern uh, sorry northern part, northern uh, forest. Then next we talk about 
southern forest southern forest now what happened in mountainous forest it was quite different from other type of forest in mountainous forest oh, we see decrease in temperature with increasing altitude natural vegetation type is changes so this is the main characteristics that we found in mountainous forest so here in this uh, uh, types of forest our discussion is quite different from other types of forest so here we talk about according to altitude what type of forest we found so in the foothill of the himalaya so first we talk about northern first we talk about uh, northern forest that means in himalayan region uh, uh, what type of forest type we found so in northern forest that means in himalayan region at the foothills we can say at the uh, foothills of the himalayas we found deciduous type of forest so first we'll uh, write here deciduous forest then next in uh, we talk about an altitude that uh, the forest that we found between an altitude of 1000 to 1500 meter we found wet temperate forest so here we found wet temperate forest okay then next we talk about uh, the altitude that we found in 2250 to 3048 meter the species uh, which grow and altitude between 2250 to 3048 meter mainly blue pine blue pine and spruce type of forest okay spruce type of forest that we found in this altitude between in this altitude then next we talk about uh, 3000 to between uh, 3000 to 4000 meter in this altitude we found mainly pine forest so here we write pine then uh, we found fir then juniper junifer so such type of forest we found in this altitude then next we talk about higher altitude or higher altitude or we can say that above 4000 meter height we found tundra type of vegetation so here we write tundra vegetation so what is uh, we learn from this uh, type of forest that in northern forest at the foot hills we found deciduous type of forest and at the altitude uh, between an altitude of 1000 to 1500 500 meter we found wet type of temperate uh, wet temperate type of forest then uh, between an altitude of 2250 to 3048 meter we found blue pine a uh, spruce type of forest then 3000 to 400 meter we found uh, some type of pine fir and uh, juniper type of uh, forest then higher altitude that means above uh, 4000 meter we found tundra type of vegetation so these uh, are come under northern forest now we talk about southern forest this is also included in mountain forest so uh, which we found in peninsular india so now we talk about southern forest now in a uh, southern forest what happen in southern forest the forest that uh, include in this type of forest mainly divided into three distinct area in peninsular india w what are the areas so now we talk about 
southern forest both are actually included in mountainous forest okay that is northern and southern now we talk about southern forest so such type of forest uh, in this type of forest include uh, three distinct areas of peninsular india first one is nilgiri nilgiri hills then vindas next is western ghat so these are the three type that we talk about in southern forest now what happen the all these areas actually lie in tropical uh, uh, in tropical type of climate all these three areas actually include in tropical areas or near to tropical areas so the basic characteristics uh, uh, in this type of forest that we found that in lower region we found subtropical type of forest so here we talk about that in lower region lower region or in lower altitude we found subtropical type of forest subtropical forest okay and higher altitude or we can say that in higher region higher region we found temperate type of forest temperate type of forest so so we can say that in southern forest the forest that include three distinct areas of peninsular india one was nilgiri hills vindas hills and western ghat now all these areas uh, mainly uh, we can say that these three areas are lie or uh, are situated near tropics of uh, near the tropic of cancer that is uh, that is subtropical okay in tropical region these three regions uh, lie in tropical region that is the region that is the main reason that in these three areas we mainly found two type of forest in lower region that means in lower altitude we found subtropical type of forest and in higher region we found temperate type of forest so my dear student these are the uh, types of forest that is these are the four types of forest that we found in our india first one is tropical evergreen or semi evergreen forest second one is tropical deciduous forest third one is tropical thorn forest and fourth one is mountainous forest in mountainous forest we found northern forest and southern forest in northern forest uh, the uh, himalayan uh, forest is included and here nilgiri hills vindas and western ghats mainly included in peninsular india now student here i represent one figure that show natural vegetation of india in this figure i use some numbers that numbers show different types of natural vegetation now number 1 represent natural uh, sorry tropical evergreen or semi evergreen forest that we mainly found in northeastern part and some in western ghat of india and number 2 represent tropical deciduous forest that mainly we found in uttarakhand bihar odisha in some parts of southern uh, in southern parts of india now three represent tropical thorn forest that mainly we found in desert area or mainly in rajasthan and some parts of gujarat and lastly number 4 represent mountainous forest so mainly this type of forest here represent in himalayan region so these are the uh, uh, four types of natural vegetation that we found in india mainly